Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to another webinar episode of uh, Cyber Seniors. Today, we are going to be discussing on uh, the subject of preventing online scams. And we're going to be understanding uh, on identifying the scams and how exactly we can get away from it. So uh, today, what we will discuss in detail is uh, the online scams. What are the different type of online scams which are out there? Um, uh, what are the red flags uh, and how exactly you can spot these scams? Um, the third would be uh, the rise of artificial intelligence based scams and how artificial intelligence is being used by scammers to uh, to misguide people and fall as a victim. Uh, the fourth uh, would be how would you respond to a scam if you spot a scam? Um, the next would be the the scam of uh, a scam investigation. Like there are a lot of scams out there uh, which claim that they would investigate a scam on your behalf and that itself is a scam. So we'll look into that. And uh, last but not least, we would conclude uh, with that. So first uh, and foremost, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, topics. This is how I started investigating scams. It is remote or tech support scams or refund-based scams. This often um, starts off where you get uh, some telephone calls or a message, uh, SMS, claiming that you need some help or your delivery is stuck or you know they have somebody has sent you a payment you're not receiving the payment please contact the number or, or often a lot of times when you are browsing uh, a website you would get uh, some pop-ups stating that uh, you know your computer has got some virus and the, a number is flashed onto it so those are often a part of what we call as a remote tech support scams or a refund based scams how exactly can you spot them is uh, first need to look into uh, these unsolicited calls, uh, emails, uh, they, spe they specifically follow a scare tactics and often lead to uh, a remote session or a request for getting a control or access of your computer. Um, the refund scams often uh, comes in with a message that your credit card has been charged and if you want a refund on your credit card, you need to call the number and then it follows the same uh, path or the pattern. So what, what is the action plan that you should be, uh, you should be taking in? Uh, the first action you should be taking it is hang up immediately. You should never, sorry, you should never provide any kind of a remote access uh, and you should be reporting this incident to the rightful authorities. Uh, if required, if you're really doubting if uh, your computer is having a virus or uh, your credit card has been charged or not, it's always better to uh, verify it with your credit card company or the company who's claiming to be messaging you directly by contacting them. Uh, but at, at the same time, ensure you're not sharing out any personal information on or, and filling it off in any specific form on a website or giving it out on, uh, you know, to someone on a, or over a phone call. How do they look like? They looks pretty much like this. If you look at the top, these are actual emails, uh, that I have sourced and managed to uh, uh, put over here. Uh, these are all phishing emails. The way how they have they have uh, curated these emails are pretty much like, uh, you know, you have to your credit card would be charged until or unless you don't contact the numbers which is mentioned over there, and it's a pretty hefty amount. Anybody, you know, can get scared and just think of giving them a call to stop the payment, but. At the end of the day, there are a lot of ways how to spot it. Say like uh, the mail is coming in from Gmail, but they are representing themselves as McAfee uh, or Norton in this case. Uh, but however, uh, the mail is coming in from Gmail. So this is a very big red flag uh, of spotting a scam. Uh, the other is you would get whenever you are browsing, you might get a pop-up like this that, uh, you know, from Microsoft Windows or, uh, or Apple Mac support uh, that you're computer is having a virus and you should contact on the toll-free number. Now, this also leads to a tech support scam. Uh, the one on top of this is what we call as a refund scam, where they are claiming that they have charged you and they want to give it back to you. Uh, the ones at the below are more of like a tech support scam where you call for help, but they would be 
taking money out from you in forms of gift cards or cryptocurrency, anything which is untraceable. Uh, often, even if you fall into the trap of it, they might uh, tell you that, uh, uh, you know, uh, they need to open a secure gateway to initiate the transfer. But have a look at this. They mostly use a software called as AnyDesk or TeamViewer or any other remote software. Uh, and this is how they fake it. They kind of mention it as like Amazon or Microsoft. But this is not a refund gateway. This is a remote connection tool. So remote connection tool is uh, like if I'm from a technical support, I can have complete control and access to your computer. This software allows that. So they trick, they mislead people in order to give them access over here. This again is a real screenshot from uh, uh, scammers I was interacting with uh, and to collect more information. And uh, this is exactly how it works. So once they have control of your computer, they can take any information, they can transfer files, they can transfer your data off your computer and they can also lead uh, to blackmail they have n number of ways how they can manipulate someone to get uh, money out of them. Uh, the next is the shopping scams. Now in this online digital era, we know uh, that online shopping is a very common thing. We all talk about going to Amazon, we all talk about going to an online website and buying uh, stuffs off there. But uh, what are these uh, shopping scam websites? Now, these are basically fake websites or uh, sellers. Uh, who kind of have a fake website which looks like the original, the actual website, but somehow we can spot them because uh, they give a, an extremely jaw-dropping offer. Like something which was available for $1,000 is now something which you can buy off like say $100. Uh, so that's a huge difference. No legitimate company or a branded company would give that. So that's one way of spotting them. Uh, the website is very poorly designed uh, and they have a, a lack of secure payments. If you go into the payment uh, uh, you know, portion of that website, it would be mostly like putting in your credit card information, your details, and that's it. So those are the red flags that you can look into uh, and not go into it. Uh, what exactly you need to do is you need to shop on reputable sites. Uh, you need to go to the legitimate website. You can search on Google. Most of these websites, they have uh, their domain, the Google knows uh, what is the actual domain and they would always prefer to list the first uh, couple of websites, which is the actual ones or from the actual seller. Uh, do look in for the HTTPS gateway uh, and make, ensure that the HTTPS is there it, and it's not only HTTP. Uh, avoid uh, direct money transfer or any kind of an untraceable payments like a gift card or cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, uh, all those things. Uh, and always ensure that you need to be a little skeptical. Always think like if some uh, known company is suddenly giving you uh, an, uh, a discount of 90%, what's in it for them? So if it's too good to be true, never ever approach it. Always proceed with cautions. And also one of the other thing that you can do is you can do compare the prices with other sellers. Like a lot of times we have these um, Black Friday sales. You have a lot of these websites coming up and giving you offer, uh, but you can always compare the prices between multiple websites and see if you know the one that you are trying to shop from is having a huge difference or not. If it's a huge difference, be careful and proceed with caution. This uh, is an example of uh, a Tommy Hilfiger website. Uh, uh, another, uh, so on your, on your left-hand side is the actual website. Uh, now, for instance, over here, it was very easy to spot because if we go to Tommy Hilfiger website, Tommy Hilfiger website does not have a Canadian website. So there's nothing called as Tommy.ca. It's Tommy.com and they will only give you the Canadian stores. But if we look over here, uh, uh, this is a scammer from China. They created a, a domain called as Tommy uh, Jeans Canada, which looks pretty much the same. But again, as I mentioned, there's like a jaw dropping offer. So some a jacket, which is worth $715 is now available for $108. So this is a scam. <clears throat> so do spot for things like this. Uh, that's going to uh, help you be safe when in your online shopping journey. 
um, the next uh, online scam is a very interesting scam, romance scams. Uh, this is, I, I personally feel this is a very dangerous scam and it's always under the radar. Uh, what are these scams? So these scams are basically fake romantic relationships and uh, the scammer tries to skim money from, you know, in this romantic relationship. Uh, how exactly? It's very difficult to spot from them um, because uh, there are a lot of websites, there are a lot of social, uh, uh, you know, uh, websites like uh, Tinder and all, which people use genuinely as well. But these platforms are also hubs for these scammers. Uh, how exactly you get to know them is uh, the relationship takes a quick progression. They immediately they will show their deep affection to you how much they you know are in love with you what are they going to uh, you know do for you they're going to bring the entire moon for you um, they create a false sense of uh, intimacy in which uh, often people fall into a trap of uh, but what we can actually look into them as well is when you try to get in touch with them they probably will come on an audio call but never on a video call they will never expose their true identity. Most of their communication is going to be over chat. And uh, that's how you can, uh, you know, you can find out, okay, if that person is authentic or not, because he will avoid, he or she will avoid to come on a video call. And uh, a common tactic that has, uh, that has been observed in the last year is uh, they would always give some, uh, some dramatic reasons like they are, you know, they need money because they're stuck in some third world country uh, and there is a lot of uh, chaos out there. They have lost their money. Uh, you know, they are deployed probably in the military and they are having severe health issues. And once you fall into the trap, they start asking for money and, you know, a person keeps on sending money. So they always have a crisis stories uh, as well. Uh, and obviously they will obviously ask for financial assistance. And uh, the stories, if you look into it, if you go through a pro entire profile of, uh, the entire uh, story journey that they are going to say they will have inconsistencies because nobody can be perfect and these scammers they always kind of try to scam multiple peoples at the same time so <clears throat> if you have uh, the the best thing to do is never send money to someone whom you have never met in your life uh, verify their identity there is there are services available for background check uh, identity verification uh, use those services if if it's really required um, but yes, be cautious, don't send money. Uh, and the, I say this is a very dangerous uh, scam is because uh, uh, I have personally uh, investigated a scam where a victim was unaware that she's getting scammed for about a period of seven years. And uh, till in this period of seven years, she has paid about uh, 150,000 US dollars to the scammer. Uh, before coming to uh, an, an understanding and still she's, she's still fighting uh, with it. Uh, she's uh, finding it hard to believe that she has, been, she has been scammed by someone. So it's very dangerous and it's always under the radar because nobody wants to disclose uh, such intimate relationships in public. But something to know and to be careful about. Uh, the next thing is uh, crypto uh, investment scam. Uh, I'm sure everybody would be would have heard about cryptocurrency, blockchain, and these new fancy words that has picked up uh, last couple, uh, last few years. Uh, now this has also given a lot of uh, opportunities for these scammers to come up and create their own uh, uh, plans about scamming people. Um, now because Bitcoin suddenly took a you know uh, he went straight up in the air with crazy values, uh, there's always a notion that cryptocurrency is always going to make you uh, rich if you invest money in cryptocurrency. But uh, these are the things that you need to look into. Current trend is the cryptocurrency is not going up. It is rather going down and it's a very volatile market. Uh, so if you, have, if you look into or come into a website um, which is promising you high returns. Uh, a lot of time, these scammers, they are also now directly texting on WhatsApp that, hey, you know what, you you pay $100 and tomorrow you're going to get $1,000 in return. Um, so those are the things that you should always run away from. Um, you should, uh, they would always go ahead and try to uh, pressurize you to invest in their platform quickly. And uh, channels like WhatsApp or Telegram is their most preferred uh, way of communicating rather than a phone call. So they won't even have a support number or an email address. 
they would only use these platforms uh, over here. Uh, uh, do research on whatever investment you are doing. Uh, even there are a lot of cryptocurrency investments which are genuine, but uh, uh, the ones which are a part of scam is actually more. So these offers, again, too good to be true, don't go into it. And always try to look for a regulated investment platform, which is well known in the market. Now, this is another, this is an example of a scam uh, website. Uh, there is an actual company called as AstroFX, uh, based out of London, and they deal into training of cryptocurrency and all those things. But this is a, a ripoff website from that uh, actual uh, you know, organization. And this website is much, uh, is done in a much better way than the actual website. So it was very easy to fall into a trap of it. But as I mentioned, if you look into uh, this entire, uh, you know, return, so you, you pay like your daily return is like $3,000. Um, your minimum investment is like $500. Your maximum is 3000. So 8%, 5% daily interest is something that nobody can commit and especially in a volatile market so these are uh, these are things you should be looking at and don't invest into it um the next scam is and this is picking up really um, like a hot cake because of artificial intelligence taking in booms is an ai based extortion scams so scammers are leveraging on artificial intelligence uh, to create fake images messages even voice as well. Uh, so this concept is called as deep fake and uh, using deep fake and, uh, you know, uh, basically to scam is like you can allow, you can make the artificial intelligence say anything, do anything the way how they want. Um, <clears throat> this is again, very important because a lot of uh, youth are getting uh, scammed because of, uh, uh, you know, artificial intelligence where they are being extorted uh, a lot. And under the pressure, I was reading uh, a couple of uh, youth actually took their uh, life. So there's always a way out and uh, you should know about it. And uh, yeah, identify how exactly you can spot them. So unsolicited uh, compromising material, um, they are highly realistic and there are urgent demands when you look into it. Uh, I was reading that one of the AI-based extortion scam is uh, more sort of like a kidnapping scam where uh, a grandparent was called in, like, uh, you know, the grandchild is screaming at the top of a voice. Uh, you know, he th that grandson was kidnapped, but actually the grandson was sitting in his school studying about it. So the, the scammers use an artificial intelligence voice to create a, a voice similar to the grandchild and was able to scam the poor, uh, you know, the grandparents. So be careful of that. Uh, always give, uh, if, if, you know, I don't want anyone to receive such calls, but even if you get such disturbing calls or urgency calls, it can be anyone. Do ensure that you give a call back if something is fishy uh, to validate and vet about, uh, about this. Uh, do read, uh, I would say a lot about the AI artificial intelligence and its capabilities because St this still being artificial intelligence still being new there is a lot of unexplored and un uh, chartered waters it has a lot of capabilities and uh, last but not the least consult with a professional if required and uh, request for law enforcement support uh, and and try to be uh, aware of it uh, is all i would say now this is uh, something like a deep fake videos if you are on twitter or facebook I think I have seen a lot of these videos where, uh, you know, um, somebody is claiming a video or rather uh, Elon Musk is coming on the video and is saying how this cryptocurrency has changed his life, has changed his fortune. So those are all something what we call as a deep fake video. Uh, it has all been altered and those are all scams. Now, I would also like to show you one more thing. I I was able to find out one solution or rather one software which does this job uh, we'll have a look at it later uh, half now the next is uh, scamming uh, you know the scam of scam investigation now uh, it has also been seen that a lot of people when they fall for victims they always search on google scam investigations 
right or companies who investigate scam or will help them return the lost investments or recover funds from the scam uh whenever you find this a lot of people have gone into these uh they first of all they always ask for uh they always give a guarantee that they are going to recover uh, you know the money for you in scam investigation there is no guarantee uh that's that's thumb rule number 1 um second is they would request a payment in advance for a scam uh for the investigating the scam and their 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 fees are quite uh you know up front and uh they're quite high uh, and because of that tactic that they are charging a high premium is all people always feel that okay they might be able to recover the funds it's a premium service and they go ahead and pay uh, for it but they 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 lack in uh, verifiable uh, credentials when i say verifiable credentials are they an authorized investigator are they a licensed investigator no none of them will have and once again they would pressure you to act quickly if you want to recover the funds because they will create a sense of urgency that you know you only got 24 hours after the scam has happened to get your money back so with that they would again try to scam you so this is also apparently a scam um Uh, just ensure that you use a uh, verified law enforcement or uh, known recovery services or known scam investigators and never pay up front for any kind of an investigation uh this is an example of uh, a scam investigation website now the logo that they have used is for uh, a famous scam baiter called scammer payback this is his logo uh, they created a fake website under his logo and uh, yeah they ask you to get in touch when you contact them it's all again on telegram they're going to ask you a minimum of uh, $1500 or $2000 to get the money refunded uh, to you but uh, it should not be the case so we should verify the credentials and everything as i mentioned and be cautious and stay away from these websites as well now what needs to be done if you are um, <clears throat> if you are getting uh, scammed uh, the immediate action is stop all communications alert your bank if it's a matter of finance uh, immediately and report to your local authorities uh, the right authorities uh, in order to ensure that uh, the right action is taken uh, you know to prevent you from scam uh, the resources are available at ftc you can contact ftc your local law enforcement uh, police station uh in case of canada i think it's rcmp who leads the scams investigation and of course cyber seniors is always there for any kind of an assistance uh with this i would like uh to thank you all for listening in and i would like to end the presentation